Hello and welcome to My Media Museum. This is part five of the A to Z 45 RPM vinyl records collection. We're starting off with a picture disc here of Billy Idol uh, to be a lover. And look at that big old grin on him. And uh, the B side here of the picture sleeve anyways. Got him doing a kind of a layout there for you. And uh, showing you the label, we've got to be a lover on the A side with a nice little barcode there for us, 1986, so not too long after they started putting barcodes on them. And the B side being a song called All Su Summer Single, All Summer Single, from Whiplash Smile. So I almost wanted to say All Summer Long, because that's what just kind of flows, but uh, that would have been incorrect. All right, next up, we're moving on from Billy Idol to Billy Joel. And I have quite a few Billy Joels, um, surprisingly. Um, not just in the uh, extended collection of mixed boxes that I have. And I've already done quite a few for the channel. But uh, in the A to Z collection. So we're starting off here with A Matter of Trust from the album The Bridge. I didn't put these in the correct chronicle order. I just de-sleeved them and... And uh, they're not in alphabetical order either, other than it being in the B's for Billy, which uh, you all may take issue with, or some of you may take issue with. Uh, I, I alphabetize things by the first letter, so everything's going to be the first Billy. Not going to be under Joel for Billy Joel. It's going to be under Billy for Billy. <laughs> and B-side is getting closer, still from the bridge. But um, I do a few things differently from normal people. I don't put my DVDs on the shelves the way a lot of people would like them either. But that's because I want to turn my head to the right and read down a list instead of uh, turn my head to the left and read up a list backwards. So, But hey, we all do things the way we're most comfortable with. And um, I like filing things alphabetically by the first letter of the first name. So that's just the way these are going to be through the A to Z. So if you're looking for Robert Plant, you'll have to wait till we get to the R's. And here we are with our next Billy Joel Allentown from the Nylon Curtain. And the B side of that was a song called Elvis Presley Boulevard, which I'm not as familiar with. A lot of these Billy Joels do have songs that you know on both sides, real good songs uh, on both sides. There's a price tag, but I can't read it. I think it says $1.07. Or, yeah, it says $1.07, which is an odd amount. And being as the original sleeve, it might have been what someone originally paid for this copy of Billy Joel's It's Still Rock and Roll to Me. And the B side. Through the Long Night. Gosh, what a beautiful vinyl. Look at that. That's just like the day they made it. Yeah. It's going to sound sweet. All right. Next up, we've got a Hall of Fame, which would be, obviously, a reissue. And it's got Billy Joel's doing Moving Out. I'm moving out. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm moving out. And the B-side, which is obviously going to be another A-side, because all the Hall of Fames are for the most part, double A sides. Uh, just the way you are. And that was October of 77, according to the uh, the notes here on the vinyl. And, uh, oh, it was March 78 for moving out. So, uh, Just the Way You Are is actually the earlier track. Um, you could call whichever one you want the A side, because like I said, when you've got those reissues, uh, Hall of Fames and stuff, they usually do not have the original B-sides on them. They do sometimes, but a lot of times they go in, they swap that B-side out for another hit, for another A. They wanted to sell you, you know, um, that 45 enough to try and make it a little more enticing. So a lot of times you, you'll see the B-sides are changed. Um, the My Life is definitely one of his better songs off of his, probably his best album, 52nd Street, maybe Glass Houses. Um, but yeah, uh, Billy Joel had a nice run there in the uh, late 70s, early 80s with a lot of great hits. But my two favorite albums were definitely 52nd Street and Glass Houses. And uh, My Life and 52nd Street being the B-side. All right. Next up, uh, this was definitely a big hit for him in the day. Sing me a song, you're the piano man. Sing a song for me. 
And B-side, you're my home. Hmm. Kind of an odd title. And next one up is, oh man, look at that. That looks like it was just ran off the press. She's got a way about her. From Songs in the Attic. Which, oh yeah, that was a pretty good album too. And the B-side of that being the Ballad of Billy the Kid. All right, now we've got a picture sleeve to look at. And uh, like I said, surprisingly, um, the picture sleeve videos did not generate nearly as much interest as I was expecting. And I'm not going to pull them out of the A to Z's. I'm just going to do them as we come across them. So uh, both sides of this are the same except for the text changing. So the B side is noted as close to the borderline on the B side. Um, but the label here. Uh, you may be right, I may be crazy, and the B-side close to the borderline, which isn't one I know as well, but it says it's also off of Glass Houses, which I was just talking about how I really liked that album. Next up, we've got She's Always a Woman to Me, from The Stranger, and the B-side of that was a song called Vienna. Vienna? Vienna? I think it's Vienna. Vienna Sausages. <laughs> uh, I think that's in Italy, though, isn't it? Vienna? Vienna? All right, now this one, this is an interesting story to this one, because this this is actually from my childhood, too. I had this 45 uh, from back in the day, 1974. Yeah, that puts me in elementary school. And uh, The Entertainer, I saw the movie The Sting, and I loved that piano part. do 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 you know, do 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 I love that song, as he called The Entertainer, and um, I wanted my mom to get it for me. She actually worked at a shoe store at the time, and it was just down from a record shop. So she goes in, and she picks me this up and brings it home, and I'm like... Uh, that's not the song I wanted, but hey, it ended up in my collection uh, because of that simple fact. So uh, here you go, the Mexican connection being on the B-side. And at number six, that's legit. That, that's the number six record that I got. Um, <laughs> we had uh, Brownsville Station. Oh, no, we haven't got to that yet. We will in a little bit. It's got a number on it. The Streak, Ray Stevens' The Streak, is number one in my childhood collection. That was the very first 45 that I ever purchased myself was Ray Stevens' The Streak. And when we get to the R's, it will be there. We will have it to show you. Um, but anyways, um, moving on. I did finally get a copy of um, The Entertainer uh, from The Sting uh, many, many years later, actually probably about 10 or 12 years ago. Um, and I still love that song. It's still a great song. It's a good movie. Uh, I should probably watch it again. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Um, but uh, if you like that uh, song, it, that's where it came from. It came from the uh, the sting. All right, so here we got Billy Squire doing the stroke. Uh, everybody thought that was such a dirty song when it came out. Stroke me, stroke me. And the B-side is actually a song that I like considerably better, uh, Two Days Gone. And that whole Don't Say No album is great. There is so many good songs on that album. He had two really good albums. Um, the one before, Don't Say No, Emotions in, in Motion. Um, which the next song we got here is from uh, Emotions in Motions, actually, which was his second, third album, actually, but his second um, successful one uh, here in the States. Um, Tale of the Tape, I believe, was his first album, and I think it was Canadian only initially. It did not sell well here. So Don't Say No, while a lot of people thought Don't Say No was his first album, it was not. It was actually his second album, and it was his, you know, big success here in the States. Uh, but everybody wants, everybody wants you, do 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 It was a really good song off the second album. The second album was, you know... Uh, at least half as good, if not three quarters as good, as um, Don't Say No, in my personal opinion. That's that's all I can state, is my own personal opinions. Uh, but here we got Keep Me Satisfied uh, being on the B side there. 
uh, pretty much after Emotions in Motion, uh, I didn't really follow Billy Squire anymore. He did have uh, a con considerable number of other albums, but I was getting much more into metal at that time. So you get into 1982, you know, I was living for Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, um, Metallica come around that time. Um, yeah, all the good heavy stuff that I still love to this day. Um, I have expanded my musical horizons. Uh, it used to be just rock and roll and then heavy metal. Uh, now, I, even during the day when punk come out, I wasn't a big fan of punk. Now I love punk. I love the Ramones, you know, so I have expanded my horizons. Still not much of a fan of country and western. And uh, you can definitely keep all that rap, hip hop and all that stuff. I just don't have an appreciation for it. Uh, teach them, you know, we all love what we love and I'm not bashing anything. But for me personally, uh, you know, I don't care for it. Even back during the days of disco, I liked some of it. But with rap and hip hop, it just doesn't do it for me. I, there's none of it that I care for. Uh, but that's me. Uh, anyways, I love pretty much everything else. That's why I said I, I've really expanded my horizons, gotten into a lot. Of, I didn't use like the Beach Boys as a kid. And the Beach Boys I got into about 15 years ago or so. But anyways, getting back to the point. Emotions and motions here on the A side and catch 22 being on the B side. Uh, sorry, sometimes I do tend to get a little rambly. Uh, looks like somebody paid 25 cents. <laughs> somebody might have even been me. Uh, but uh, I doubt it. Uh, this one is what was in the sleeve and it's got a 50 cent tag on it from a store that I recognize. Um, black and red if you're anywhere near the area and you know the uh, recognize them uh, pretty much most of these green tags come from black and red and I buy used um, Boxes of uh, 45s at garage sales and stuff all the time that have those stickers on it black and red's been around a long time But that's pretty much where they come from and I wasn't the only person that shopped there But we got Billy strain and his guitar and orchestra doing the James Bond theme and on the B side You've got the 007 theme so you would think they're one and the same but apparently they're not all right, come on back for part six. We'd love to see you again.